Hey, welcome to Scripting 3, where you can learn all about JavaScript. The short tutorials are around three minutes or less. The issue that we're looking at uh, in this class is how to get the QUnit up and running. So I've in the previous video, we talked about installing the QUnit library. And here we're looking at addressing how, how do we get it, uh, the QUnit actually working. So here in our, um, in our sample code, we have a do get function um, here in the code.js. Um, and then we have a index.html here too. So when I publish this, we get this hello world, which is coming from this from the from from the index. An important thing about QUnit is that it will test your um, backend uh, code.js. Uh, functions only. It won't uh, test your, your front end and it won't test any functions that are running in your front end and it won't test your HTML so much so that um, it has its own do get. So in order for that to run I had to comment out the, the script's own do get and then uh, expose this uh, community's own do get and you, know, you can see that there's some limitations, some limitations to what the testing can do. So QUnit is, is focusing on you know, whether your functions are going to work or not. So now if I save all of this and then reload the, the front end part, I get my QUnit testing coming up. So this is an important thing is that the QUnits will test only the code, uh, only the GS server side uh, functions and uh, we'll dive more into that in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave comments below.